We gon' keep working, we gon' keep grinding, uh, stop. We gon' keep working, we gon' keep grinding, uh, stop. I want the new things in life, I wanna pay the price. I got married young, but they got married. I'm Priscilla, and this is Buck Buck Gang Family Cooking. Today we're going to be doing a pork chop special, as well as broccoli and cheese, and no other rice. Okay, so um, broccoli and cheese. Cheese I use is just plain shredded. I also use butter as well. Uh, okay, and then we need our veggies. So for my family, I have a family of six, four kids, two adults. I usually use two packs of broccoli, okay? Because we like to have a good amount still. Right, uh, broccoli cheese, not casserole. Okay, now I'm gonna get um, the nor packaging. Just set this stuff down right here. Okay, and then now the nor packaging that I use is right here. Okay, and like I said, for a family of six, these are the ones I use, okay? Two packaging. Chicken flavor is the best. It tastes mostly like the yellow rice, okay? And you just need butter as well for this, okay? Um, I already have my pork chops out. I already have them thawed out pretty good. Um, what I am going to do, I always rinse my meat out real good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do go that now. Okay. Rinse off our meat. Like I said, I went ahead and defrosted these pretty good. Let's see here. So I'm get these meat up here. And, you know, you don't have to use burning water, but let's just rinse this. broccoli and cheese so we want to get a good size pan go uh, or pot excuse me go ahead and fill it up halfway and you want to go ahead and set your temperature on about you know medium high okay that way you can get that water going and I do put um, some butter in there that way we can just get it going a little bit better pot right here boiling with water added in about two tablespoons of butter we're going to let that get heated up and start the water boiling before we put any of the broccoli cuts now we're inside. Going to go ahead and get started with our nor rice here. Uh, we want to have a good size, you know, pan here. So that way you can go ahead and have enough room to give the rice time to cook and such. So let's go so ahead let's and go start our fire up. You can go ahead and put that uh, medium high as well. Now it says uh, per package you need about two cups of water. So this is two cups here for the first package. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add another two cups since I'm using two. So that's a total of four cups of water. Then it does say um, all, one tablespoon of butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in two since I have two of them. That's here. Alrighty, and that's a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna let that heat up as well. And it does say to put the entire contents of the package in the pot you know to go ahead and cook itself and to get it going so i'm going to go ahead and add everything in here and we'll see what's the entire two packages the butter's still in there getting nice and melted all right we just want to go ahead and mix this up that way we can spread all those uh, flavors and seasonings evenly Alrighty. and after that is done what you want to do you can place a lid on top of it it's totally up to you i usually just get a little bit of foil place it on top and just give it some time to check on our rice. It's been about five minutes or so. I just left it alone, let it did what it wanted to. Now I'm just gonna take off this lid here. Alrighty. 
and you just want to stir it around you know don't move it too too much but you want to make sure those flavors are getting around to where they need to be see here and you do not want the extra water so you want to make sure it cooks until all the water is gone okay and all the rice has soaked it all up so i'm just going to give it a little bit more time i am going to raise the heat temperature from medium high to about medium low okay that way it can give our rice enough time to cook with our pork chops we're going to go ahead and put this pan right here on a medium temperature you don't need it too hot now with this special pork chop here i do not use the oil you know i'm just going to be using water okay as our platform coat okay that way it will give it more of a juicy tender um you know flavor okay it'll always keep in that flavor there go ahead okay. and heat it up put it on a medium heat here all we added for the base was just water okay so we want to let that boil up get it a uh, boiling here before we add any meat to it okay because you don't want it just to be sitting in there and the now, water as you see, okay? we have a little bit of bubbles in the bottom of this the butter is almost melted so we want to go ahead and add, our, yeah, add in excuse me our broccoli cuts here okay you see our water in here is bubbling for the broccoli the butter is almost melted so we're going to add those broccoli cuts inside all right so i'm just going to go ahead and add in the whole package here there we go and the other one as well Alrighty. and you don't have to cover it just let it do its own thing while it's boiling you see this water is boiling right here we're going to go ahead and add in um, a few pork chops that way we can get this going all right so i'm going to add in a little pork chop there add in another one right there i'm gonna add another one right here all righty so that should be good there okay and you want to make sure they have enough room to cook evenly so make sure it has enough there all righty now I'm going to go ahead and raise the temperature to about medium high. Okay, that way we can get this going. Now I'm going to show you the seasonings I use. I do like pepper. So I'm going to add pepper on it. Good amount of pepper here on each one of these. Then we're going to add in garlic powder. Garlic powder here. Add it in evenly. There we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in some onion powder as well. Onion powder. Okay. Then, now, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and add in lemon pepper seasoning, okay? This lemon pepper is magic. <coughs> and it will make your pork chops taste bomb, you guys. <coughs> <coughs> that pepper is getting good about that. <coughs> so we're going to add in this lemon pepper seasoning, a good amount. Alrighty. Oops. Okay. Alrighty. So we added in the garlic powder, onion powder, um, pepper, the um, lemon pepper seasoning. And then lastly, we'll want to add in our Lowry seasoning salt. Okay. That way you can still have that season and it won't be too bland. Okay. All right, and as you see, it is already, you know, cooking there. All that flavor on the bottom is just absorbing all the seasoning. So just give that a minute. Get our rice here. All right, so that's the consistency you want it to be. All right, my mom always taught me just go at the corners and go in, go in. All right, make sure you get the edges so that everything is coming off. Make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pan here that there all right you want to just let it mix in there okay all right and you want to just flatten it out that way it can still cook properly and evenly and then you want to just put that as a low heat okay go ahead and cover it up back again Get that covered are cooking I do like to you know get a little bit of the sauce here and just you know pour it over it that way it's not you know all the way just dry and when you flip it that way the seasonings can you know stick to the top of it because it's already used to it 
Okay, so we're just gonna add a little bit, not too, too much. Put on top. Ready? And just let it do its thing. Our pork chops, we wanna go ahead and put that at a medium heat. Raise it up from that medium high. Go ahead and put it at a medium. That way you won't run out of the water too, too fast, okay? So let it continue to cook on its own here. So let's see how it's going. Okay, all right, so this is looking very beautiful, you guys. This rice is nice and fluffy. It's moisturized, moisture. It has a lot of good moisture to it. It's not dry, not really sticking. This is how you want it to be the consistency, okay? So just gonna turn off the stove already. That should be good. You can see it's still moist. And when you turn it off and you cover it, it will give it time for it to moist and soak up all the rest of that water on its own okay you cover it up keep all the steam inside and that is done all right so we're done with that we're gonna go ahead and cover that up back up a little bit um medium barely a hair over medium okay not too too much now we're gonna go ahead and check on the bottom see how they're looking here see if they're ready to flip um, and honestly, you'll know that they are ready or not. When you start seeing these little blood, you know, splatters popping out, that's kind of when you know it's time to flip. But always check it just in case, because it's always up to you, your preference. Some people like it a little bit more toasty, you know. Let's see here. So you see that? It needs a little bit more time, okay? I like mine a little bit more darker than that. Let's check this little one here. Okay, we'll leave it just a little bit more here. Just a little bit more. Okay, so about four more minutes or so. Here you see the water is starting to run out a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over. That way I can go ahead and add in some more water from the other side. So that way we won't have anything sticking too much to the bottom of the pan, okay? So let's go ahead and flip that one over as well. All right, and I'm just gonna add it on the side here. A little bit of water, a little bit of water again. You wanna make sure you have a good base, okay? Cause you don't want it to stick, all right? And same thing as well, um, you know, on this side, since we already added some seasoning, I usually add in a little bit more on the other side. That way, you know, you'll just have an even coating of seasoning on both sides. You don't have to overpower it. Um, and again, it's totally up to you if you wanna add in this extra amount of seasoning but I just do not like it to be bland on either side. I want it to be evenly, you know, flavored and such. So that was onion powder, garlic powder, uh, black pepper. And again, we're gonna add in our lemon pepper as well. Lemon pepper always does the job for our family. We love the way it tastes on pork chops, especially. So I'm gonna put that. All right, and we're just gonna let this side cook on its own. And just a little dash of this seasoning salt. Again, you don't need too much on this side. You should already put on the other. All right, and we're just gonna let it do. Go ahead and on check on our broccoli. I do see it's bubbling over here, so we just wanna go ahead and give it a good spin. See if it's nice and soft. Alrighty, so that should be good. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and drain this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and drain so this. Let's go ahead and drain our broccoli. To our strainer here. I want to make sure everything is out of there. Alrighty. Okay. We're just gonna get our broccoli. Drain, drain, drain. Okay. Alright, and now you want to go ahead and preheat your oven to about 450, 475, because you're not gonna have this broccoli in for long, okay? Now we want to go ahead and get us a nice little, you know pan dish here that you can put in the oven that it's safe for it okay i'm gonna get my broccoli here and what i'm going to do okay i got my broccoli here i'm gonna go ahead and pour it in there nice and evenly there we go split that a little bit it's all right okay so i'm gonna pour it in there evenly all right so it's in there nice and good there now i'm gonna go ahead and add in seasoning salt. Laurie seasoning salt here. Sprinkle it over. There we go. Now you want to give it a good flip, okay? Go ahead and mix it in there nice and good. Next. 
Make sure each layer, each broccoli is getting enough. get our butter okay and you want to just do a whole bunch of little pieces everywhere that way you can melt I love using this because it's very easy here. Just gonna sprinkle some over there. There. It's all in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna put this first layer first. Okay, you guys. We will be adding more. Nice and sealed with some foil. We're gonna go ahead and place it in our oven for about five minutes or so and let it do it. We're gonna go ahead and get um, our spatula. We're gonna go ahead and flip those, see how they're doing on the bottom. Okay, so they are turning out wonderful here. Go ahead and flip this one over a little bit more. Give that side a little bit more cooking. All right, and these are just about done, you guys. So just give it about three more minutes or so. Just give that last side a good cook. And we should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and grab them and place them on a safe dish here. Just let that one sit there. Okay. That one sit there. All right, and we want to add in a little bit more water. That way it will not stick here. So let's add in the rest of our water. <coughs> process for these pork chops. Now we're going to go ahead and check on our broccoli and cheese, see how it's doing in the oven. Let's go ahead and pull that out here. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Alright, so as you see, the cheese is melted. There's still that loose butter. We want to go ahead and get our spoon and go ahead and mix it all in. See what spots are missing, and the butter is to pretty much be that loosener, okay? For the cheese and the broccoli and all that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mix that up. Make sure we get all of it underneath the pieces that did not get cheese. Just gonna mix that. Our second layer of cheese, see how that's doing in the oven? Let's take that out. Okay. Alright. Go ahead and cover it up. And again, if you want, you know, less cheese, it's up to you. Your choice. Me and my family, we love cheese. So we add a good amount. Just gonna place that back in there. Put that bad boy in there. And let it do. So let's go ahead and check on our broccoli and cheese in the oven. Here. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Oh wow, look at that y'all. Y'all see how much cheese, the butter on the corners. Now that's how you want it to look right there, okay? That's the broccoli and cheese. So I went ahead and removed the last of the pork chops. And as you can see, this is kind of like a gravy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to get this and scrape it on down. That way we can go ahead and make sure all the flavor is included. And as you can see, it is like a little gravy. You want to just go ahead and drizzle it all over there. Drizzle it, drizzle it on there. Pour it all on there. There we go. Alright, so that is complete. And as you can see, this is the final product of the pork chops. All right, you guys. All right. So this is the final product. Mm -hmm. These are beautiful pork chops, broccoli and cheese, mm -hmm. nor rice. Mm -hmm. Look at how good that looks, you guys. It did great, babe. 
Very proud of you. Hope you enjoy. Like, share, subscribe, and look forward to more videos. And I learned your trust making memories of us. We'll follow the rain.